What does your bartender recommend? Well, my bartender is E.P. Sutton, and he recommends... Fall City. Fall City was kind of a people's beer that started right here in Louisville. It was a group of pub owners and grocery store owners that got together to come up with a brand to break a monopoly. The young brewery was successful in breaking that monopoly, which a much larger brewer held on local taverns. But after only a few successful years, prohibition was enacted, and Fall City was forced to survive by selling ice and near beer. But survive it did, and when prohibition ended, Fall City was one of only 10 breweries ready to quench the nation's thirst for beer. And Fall City made an English ale after prohibition. They, as most regional brewers did, went to the American lager as their sole uh, brand and got rid of the ales. Fall City's a light-bodied beer that's brewed for full flavor. Compare the taste, compare the price, you'll pick a city. This is when Fall City became a smooth American lager that most remember. They finally just uh, decided to make the American lager uh, 100%. That version of Fall City was brewed on the corner of 31st and Broadway for decades. But in 1978, after a 10-year sales drop, Fall City stopped making beer. The, uh, the brand was dead. And if um, some people had gotten the brand, their whole idea was just to make sure it stayed dead. Now David Easterling is trying to bring it back, and bring it back to its roots. Uh, two and a half years ago, we hit the market. The idea, when I, when I thought to bring the brand back and I wanted to bring it back as a craft beer, that's something that's never been done before, to bring a value brand back as a craft brand. And I didn't know if it would work or not. So we're just kind of turning, turning the, a few pages back and, and coming out with uh, uh, some good ales like they did back in 1905. But so far, people are glad to see the beer back on tap. But I think the liquid speaks for itself. The, uh, if, if people were drinking it purely for nostalgia, they probably would have gotten tired of it by now. And, uh, and we're the number one selling craft tap handle in, in Louisville. So uh, people like the beer. And if David has his way, Falls City Beer will be part of Louisville for many years to come. All I really ever set out to do was give people the opportunity to drink a Falls City like their dads and granddads did. And so people have memory of that. They have memory of uh, the backyard barbecue and, and uh, everybody drinking a Fall City. And your right to have a Fall City has been restored. So uh, mission accomplished.